Well, hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, and I know it's been a while, so I would like to make quicker videos and upload them faster, maybe once a week, or, you know, twice a week, whatever. I see a lot of engagement in the Instagram, a bit less here, but I know that I'm not posting enough, so I think that from now on I will just post at least one a week, maybe two. Um, and I will make them in this format so they will be quicker and they will be faster and I will answer to your questions on Instagram here also, okay? So in this first tutorial, well not first of course, but in this tutorial we're gonna take the image or the project that we used on the previous tutorial. If you didn't see that one, well please go ahead and check it out. And well, like the video and please subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot to grow and you know, to to share with you all my tips and all my tricks on Lumion, okay? So just so you know, in the next uh, video, I think I will talk about uh, five essential tips in order to make your Lumion renders way better. And the one after that will be focused on the, the interior se settings and effects that I use for my, for my interior renderings, the ones that you see on my Instagram feed. Okay, we'll also see how to make uh, the clips that I also post there. And especially at one point, I will show you how to make um, how to make the first person videos that you like so much. Okay, so I will share effects, I will share settings, I will share tips on how to make those videos. And I would also like to speak about architecture, about books, about the architecture studies, the world of architecture, how to make it out there, why it's important to do the studies if you want to be an architect, and why it's important not to do them if you don't want to be an architect, okay? So we'll start just with this one, okay? So like I said, we'll take the same model as in the previous video, and underneath in the description box, you will see a Dropbox link where you can find this Lumion file with the effect that we're going to use to make this render and uh, with all the assets that we'll use to make uh, the collage, okay? So, um, we texturized the whole model in the previous video. We have the grass, the 3D grass, we have everything going on. And now we're gonna just go to the photo. Okay, and here we have the selected image, okay? As you can see, there's no, no style. What I'm gonna do is just load the one that you will uh, download, okay? And we'll really just very quickly look at it. Okay, so here it is. Wait, just, okay, now <laughs> here it is. So if we take out outlines and cartoon, you can see that it's exactly the same image as we did in the previous video. Okay, we have our reflect, uh, reflections, they're right here. See them? Okay, right there. We have um, all those uh, effects that are for me key to make the realistic render, okay? Skylight is very important. You can see here, if we see the pre preview, you can see it's darker. And if we use the skylight, you can see that it's much lighter and much more realistic, okay? So the first effect that we're gonna add is outlines. And it just, as you can see, it makes it much clearer, like more bleached and with all these lines going on, okay? So this, you can tweak it in order to make it as you want you can make more or less outline overdraw or you can also tweak the outline density but i don't like it that dense <laughs> so we'll just leave it as it was and same for the overdraw okay transparency just makes the image underneath clearer or darker okay so i like it here again in the middle point and same for the color variation you can have it all white or you can have it very saturated okay like this so again, we'll, we'll leave it in the middle point. Next is the cartoon. So here it is. And this is for this kind of outli uh, outside lines. Okay, we'll add more lines. Uh, you can tweak the width. You can tweak the outline transparency, the posterize, everything. You can, the, the saturation, you can do everything here. Okay, but more or less, you can do them like this or just download the, the effect and and unload it uh, directly, okay? So now we're, what we're gonna do is just um, render the photo. 
And here, as you can see, we have all these additional outputs. We have the maps here. In this case, I'm only going to use the sky alpha map. And this, as you know, will allow us to just select our sky really quickly and change it for another sky. Okay, so now I like to use the, the print render, which is the one of the biggest, but not the biggest, as you can see here. Um, and this uh, allows us to make a, a good image, not too heavy for Instagram, just the perfect size. So here we are. Uh, if you downloaded the, um, the file, you will have all of this yourself. If not, um, you can just do it by yourself. Use your own project. So this will be your Lumion file and your renders. Of course, we have this material ID that we didn't actually export. I have it, but we won't use, in, use it here. Okay, so first things first, let's open our image with Photoshop. As I usually say, you can use Photoshop or just uh, another program like GIMP or some free software. There's a lot of them out there, so just choose the one that you prefer, okay? So here we are. Let's start by de-zooming, okay? As usual, we'll just unlock our background to make it rasterized. We'll set our rulers. This is the usual workflow, okay? Now, as you know, we're gonna make a square, and I don't remember <laughs> the resolution, so we have three, three, eight, four, zero, three, eight, four, zero. So just find it right here, three, eight, four, zero, right there. And we're gonna make our image square. Okay, next, thing we're going to do is just import our um, sky alpha image like so we're going to drag it into our first image okay so and then here we're going to set select color range with this you will select the white by background background sorry fuzziness you can leave it here more or less 90 100 in the middle just press okay now Go to our base image and erase sky. Now let's place this one here. Okay. Now, as usual, also, we will just make our layer, new field layer, solid color, select whatever name you want, and white. Let's place it in the back. Okay, so that's good already. I like to duplicate our base image, okay, and go to filter, camera roll. Okay, here if we go to basic, we're gonna make it a bit yellowish. So we have a warmer tone. We'll set up the exposure higher, a little bit more contrast, and that is all. Really. We'll add some texture, and that's it. Okay, that's it for now. Next, I wanted to add the sky, and as you know, I gave you this engraved sky, so we're just gonna open it again. Also, Photoshop, and again, we're just gonna drag it our image put it just behind our base image like so and select where you want to stop it here what i'm going to do is place it right there in the same line as this gabion wall so we'll leave it like this and i think i like this already um and like i did in the first image i'm just going to cut it right there like so and let's zoom in just to see if it's okay. So we didn't cut this correctly, but it's okay. Like, uh, it's just for the tutorial. So let's just cut this small piece right here. Okay. Right there. Perfect. What do you think? So, next, you know, as you can see here, we have this white, and this is kind of gray, right? So I think I'm gonna select this. And just make it I can either cut it like so and it will be white or you can paint it white directly. It's your choice really. I just cut it out and I think it works perfectly. Next. Um let's see, because there is this um this next step that I want to do, which is this white outline right on top of our project. So for this, what we're gonna do is a new layer right here new layer and we'll select the pencil tool as you can see this is really fat <laughs> but let's bring it down i think that yeah um let's bring it to something like this so we'll leave it at 80. 
it is perfect. And we're going to draw a line. So you can click once and then shift and click again to make a straight line. And you can do this every single time. Just click shift and select your, the point where you want to um, do the straight line. That's it. Okay. Doesn't need to be perfect. This fits our needs perfectly. Now, as you can see in our image, we have these kind of lines. And I gave you this lines grid. So this is the same thing. It's just the PNG image. So just drag it into into your your Photoshop file, and here it is. So in our image, I think it's in diagonal, so it's forty five degrees more or less. So let's just bring it down forty five degrees like this, and there it is. Perfect. I think there was more. Th Thing. Let's see, we have this tree, PNG tree. You can also just drag it into your Photoshop file directly. Okay. Now we're going to go here, place it somewhere there. And as you can see, gives, you know, more green to the image. I think it's, it works nicely. You can also, if for you this is not good enough, you can also tweak it with uh, maybe, you know, some filter to make, make it more artistic or something like that. But I like it like this already. <laughs> And finally, we have our birds, <laughs> famous birds that we always use in our images. Let's drag them into the image, place them somewhere there. Here, I want them to face the other way. So we're going to go here to edit, transform, and just flip horizontally. Okay? And we'll just control T. Wait, uh, didn't work. We'll do it again. Control T. To scale the birds, make them way smaller because they're too big right now. Like this. Okay. So guys, this is it. Like uh, we made our image. We should now now just save it and post it in Instagram. And as you can see, you can do this image in under five minutes. It's super fast, and the result is quite nice. You have this uh, big contrast of colors. And you can do this with every single project that you have. And it doesn't even need to be that um, advanced. So I like to use this technique for early stages, stage projects. Okay. So guys, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel because the next videos will be focused on realistic renders. Okay. They will be focused on clips, on first person videos, on realistic kitchens, unrealistic living rooms, realistic interiors. Okay, I know you guys like that. Hope you like this one and I will see you on the next. Have a nice day. Bye bye.